All right, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a uh, full width, uh, full screen mobile navigation, uh, but also have you know your desktop navigation up here. Um, and I'm just gonna show you guys using a uh, CSS and just a tiny bit of a, of a jQuery. All right, so you know, typically you might have something like this, whether you're using something like, um, you know, foundation or bootstrap, you'll have like some top nav thing, or even if you're just writing it, uh, hard coding it in with your own uh, classes and IDs and everything, that's fine as well. But uh, you can have something like this, which is the top nav, it's probably a little bit more semantic if we just did nav uh, there. Uh, so, so we got going on so far, and basically when it gets to about this big, you know, if you ever had more uh, links here, you'd, you'd go off the page and it would not look look the best on the phone or people might not be able to find some links. So what you're gonna have to do is, normally what I do is I make another nav, but this nav I call it uh, mobile nav. And then I just put the same thing or, um, you know, if you're using WordPress and you have like a, some output function for your, your menu items, you can, um, you know, stick that in here as well. Um, but basically on the mobile nav, we have this going on down here, say mobile nav. And then basically we want to display none when it's uh, at this size. All right. So now what we're going to have to do is we want to build out um, that functionality of, of having some sort of button that we can click and open up, you know, when we're on a phone, open up, like, you know, the hamburger icon, open up the menu item. So I'm going to use a font awesome here and I've imported this into um, my CSS right here. If you're using code pen, um, if you're using just a normal uh, HTML pages just you know go into your header file and do a, uh, a link tag and this is your URL instead of something like you know some folder directory <clears throat> so we're gonna pull that in uh, I'm gonna use this hamburger bar right here so I'm gonna copy this over come down here and I'm gonna actually make a div and call it mobile nav toggle and then in here I'm gonna put in our icon tag. You can see this mobile icon's right here. Um, down here, I'm gonna say mobile nav toggle is going to display none here on as well because we want it. We don't want it to show up while we're on the desktop view. Um, <clears throat> but for now, we're gonna say blocks just so we can style it to put it in the right place. Um, I'm gonna say position absolute. All right, and we're gonna give the top zero. Uh, we'll say five pixels left, uh, ten pixels, and then we're gonna style the eye to say color white, so we can see it, and the font size of. So now it's bigger and it's great. It's awesome. Cool. Um, but we don't want it to show up when it's on the um, desktop size. So what we're going to do is we're going to say display um, none here. All right. And then we're going to add a media query on this. And we're going to say max width. 640 pixels, which is the pretty much the standard for small screens, and we're gonna say display block. So now if we save this, come down, you see that when we hit 640, it shows up, and then it goes away more higher than that, so that's great. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to make um, another navigation for what's going to be our mobile nav. So what I'm going to do is up here, I'm going to grab this media query 
And this navigation here, we want this to actually disappear when uh, we hit this. So I'm gonna say display none here. And when we come down, you can see that it goes away. Actually, I just wanna display none on the UL, not the background. So then you can see there's that. So you can see that on a phone, that's starting to look nice. Alright, so then we have another div or nav here, and we're gonna call it mobile nav. It's basically, oh, I already put it in earlier. So we have this mobile nav, which is only gonna show up on the mobile side. And currently, right now, it's displayed none, so we basically want to take this same media query and just tell it to display a block. And then you can see it's popping up there. This mobile nav is going to be different. This mobile nav is going to do something like uh, a width of 100 VW, which is view width. A height of 100 VW, which is view height, and then a position of absolute and a position of absolute, and then a um, I'm gonna say text align center. So now when we come down here that going on then we also want to say background black you can see that now we've got that going on um, let's go down here as well here and say you uh, li and give these a padding on the top and then a tags color white Underline or none, excuse me. That and there's something going on here. So uh, what's that? So now we got full view width, full view height. It's looking good. All right, and. What we're going to do now is we are going to basically make this so that you know it doesn't pop up right away because then it's covering your whole screen. We want to click this and toggle um, this, this nav menu. So what I'm going to do in jQuery here, and I have jQuery loaded in right here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, document uh, dot ready. So we got that ready to roll. So that means once the page loads, then it'll look for all the uh, functions and everything. Um, what we're going to do is we need to grab uh, this mobile nav toggle. So I'm going to say var equals, or var <coughs> mobile nav toggle is equal to this mobile nav toggle. Alright. And basically what we want to do is <coughs> when this mobile nav toggle is clicked, Uh, we want to run a function. Alright, and when that's clicked, we want to say uh, the mobile nav. So let's go and grab that. We want to say the mobile nav. Uh, gets a class of open. 
So now if we save this, and we come over here, and we just inspect really quick so we can see what's going on. If we come down like this, um, and we click this, you can see right here, it's mobile now, it's uh, an open uh, class, just from clicking on uh, this guy. Um, so if we reload this, and then let me inspect here so you can see, uh, just watch this section right here when I click, I get an open uh, class here. So basically with that, we're gonna change the styles um, based on if it has an open class. So this mobile nav, uh, we're gonna say display lock, cool. I'm gonna say display none. And here we're gonna say display here, just so that it's always displaying none. That mobile nav. So we actually don't need this anymore. And then if this mobile nav has a class, so I'm gonna say this is SAS now, I'm gonna say and has a class of open, then we're gonna give it a display uh, block. So I'm gonna save that, we're gonna scroll down here, and if I click this, you can see that this mobile nav is now showing up. And you can see that it's still there even when uh, I keep clicking. So we actually need to change this add class to toggle class. So now if I come back, it'll go on and off based on me clicking. And these will all be clickable. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. It's the basics to uh, doing these full with uh, mobile navigations uh, so that the, your mobile menus look amazing on your phones. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. If you like the video, definitely leave a like and subscribe uh, for more content. Thanks guys. Peace.